What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. I'm excited to bring you my first versus video on this channel. The 36, the Jordan 36 versus the KD 14. Uh, I'm gonna move these pairs out of the way. So over here. And we will hop right into it. Now we're gonna go, we'll go from the KD over to the Jordan. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna start from the top, work our way to the bottom. We'll start with the KD 14 first. True to size on this sneaker. Um, it felt felt perfect right when I slipped it on. I didn't even have it laced up or strapped down, and it still felt good on foot. It's kind of hard to rank true to your you know you know the fit and true to size. So I would just say with this sneaker, I would go true to size. As for the Jordan 36, um, I had a lot. I think I should have went down a half size. Um, and I'm not telling you guys to do that because every foot's different, every individual's different. We have different legs, different bodies. Different feet, um, it's kind of like a fingerprint, you know, we're not all the same, everybody has a different opinion, but this, I had about this much room from this line on my finger to here on this sneaker. Um, I have no clue why I rocked the Jordan 34s and them fit true to size. This ran just a little bit long for me, so I would personally go down to a seven and a half, which I've never had a seven and a half before, but it seems like on this I would need to, so I would recommend, if, and I have a skinny foot, so... But it, the fit still felt great. Like So I'm, I'm not trying to tell you to go down a half size. If you have a slim foot, yes, you could go down half size. If you have a wide foot, I probably would recommend just going true to size. And you, you should be able to deal with it. Um, it really wasn't an issue at all. Still loved it. Now, on to the ankle support and lockdown. Ankle support and lockdown on this. We are going to get into the rating system. And I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. I don't care what nobody says about this strap. They say straps don't do anything on basketball shoes. The Giannis sneaker, yeah, it doesn't do nothing. It's It starts like up here and just gets last over. It really doesn't do nothing. And this strap right here starts right here. Comes right over the over the strobel or under it. I'm not sure. I haven't seen this cut apart. But I'm going to say it goes maybe right over it. I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that. But it comes through, comes over to this side and wraps back around to this side. And you can feel it when you lock it down. You can tie your shoes. It feels good. It feels locked down. And that just gives you extra support. I had no issues whatsoever with ankle support and lockdown in this sneaker. Onto the Jordan 36. It was just as good and it doesn't even have a strap. So, I mean, the laces are heavy duty on this. It looks like there's some kind of, it might be 3M uh, intertwined in these laces. I don't know if you guys can really see that at all. Not sure if I can get it up close enough. But yeah, these are some heavy duty laces. I love the laces. I loved all this up here. And I don't remember the exact term for the uh, the weave that they use, but they had a professional weaver come in and work on like uh, the expensive computer chairs. I know that's some of the material that was woven in these. Um, I had no issues. No issues with lockdown in this at all. I had no heel slippage. No heel slippage at all on this sneaker. Um, it was very comfortable. Locked me right down. For this sneaker, I give this about an 8 out of 10. Now, back to the KD-14. We're going to go with the materials on this. Uh, the materials on this KD-14, I just I just really wasn't sure about it at first. The felt and everything. I told everyone not to wear these outdoors. I'll get into that in a little bit. But it was actually not that bad after I played it a few times. Uh, it seems like it would just tear up. But it, it really didn't. It held up good, and it's a it's a very breathable sneaker. You can see the knit, not the light hit it just right. You can kind of see the... It's almost like a screen, almost like a screen mesh. So for this sneaker, I would give the materials an 8 out of 10. Now this one was hard. On to the Jordan 36 for materials. Um, it was confusing, because this when you see it, it looks cheap. Um, it's not... Uh, the, the breathability on the KD was nice. The breathability on this, I mean, you can see right through this whole entire shoe. Besides up here on the back where they kind of start implementing the heel tabs and all that, all that stuff. This shoe, I, you could almost feel breeze running up and down the court in this sneaker. This sneaker was amazing. Um, this material, I think it would last you a very, very long time. I, now with the white pair, maybe not. You might tear it up a little bit and you might notice it a little more. But if you get a pair with like black, blue, red on it, and it's got the fuse material up here, you can see I toe dragged a couple times. I don't even got any marks on that, um, which I usually don't toe drag. But yeah, it worked out. The materials, I would give this a 9 out of 10. Um, it just seems very tough. Um, I've tried to pull on it 
twist it, pull it. I mean, it doesn't stretch barely whatsoever. It, your foot doesn't slide around in there. You would think your foot would slide around from side to side in here when you're stopping, crossing. It doesn't, not, not at all. So with that being said, that is a great sneaker, great breathability, great materials. Um, and they actually use like, um, I wanna get into it before I get back to the 14, that actually feels like real leather up here. I don't, I'm not sure if it is, but this, this, and all this, and this down through here feels, feels like real leather. And if not, they used a hell of a synthetic material on this Jordan. Um, same thing up here with the tribute to the six. So we're gonna get into like the breathability. I kind of talked with the materials and stuff like that, but the breathability for both sneakers was excellent. Um, I give this a nine out of 10. Breathability for this sneaker, it's obvious. You can see through the sneaker, it's amazing. 10 out of 10 breathability for this. Down to the cushion. Uh, this is kind of where they start separating themselves. Uh, everybody was raving about the KD14. Um, it uses Cushlon and it is very soft. I mean, you can see it. It's soft. It's very nice feeling. It's got the air zoom struggle in it. Uh, but I really couldn't feel it that much. But I mean, the shoe was comfortable, but it just didn't feel like this. So for the KD14, I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10 when it comes to cushion. It just, it felt really good on foot. There was no, no pain, no shin splints after it. I ran a bunch of times in the KD14 and it felt great. So no complaints on the KD14. On to the Jordan 36. Um, I'm not sure if they use Cushlon on this, but this is soft too. I mean, this is real soft. Just like the KD, if not maybe a tad softer and it runs all the way up through here until you get down to the rubber. This sneaker was an absolute beast when it came to cushion. Uh, at first, it took me a minute to kind of feel the, the strobel in the back and then the zoom, the double stack in the front, because it has the strobel and then it has the zoom pad or the zoom air. You can see right there. You can see it protruding out right here and you can feel that. Anytime you get up, anytime you're up like this, you could feel that in this sneaker. The sneaker was, it was awesome to wear. It did take like, I'd say a couple games for me to actually start noticing it more. So I don't know if it just had to break in or what was going on, but I started feeling it in both sneakers, left foot and right foot. Um, I even ran these sneakers side by side. A lot of people were saying they should have double stacked the KD and I do agree. I think they did that in a few recent models. I did not wear those, but I think I heard they did that. This sneaker, I'm giving a 10 out of 10. Um, can't really beat it. It was an awesome sneaker, awesome wear. I enjoyed wearing this Jordan 36. Okay, on to the traction. The traction for the KD14, I gotta take a few things back that I said about it. I said I would not wear this shoe outside. Well, I wore this shoe outside. So for the traction on the KD14, there's a few things I gotta backtrack on that I said before. I said I would not ball on this outside. Um, I was wrong. Uh, <laughs> it happens. Uh, it was an awesome sneaker outside. I wore this outside a few times and there's nothing like really bad fraying. I got a couple spots like right here. Not sure if you could get that, but yeah, I mean, I, and I move quick. I move a lot. I stop, I pop, I, I do all kinds of things when I am on the court. I'm just a quick shifty person. And usually I tear through a shoe one time. This this held up, the materials held up. I got stepped on a few times and they're white. I don't even know how they didn't get ruined. But yeah, it worked out. Um, I got stepped on the heel a few times, didn't even feel it because of that. Like I said, that's like a paracord on that back heel counter right there. And uh, yeah, it was, I would rock these outside. I wouldn't wear this colorway. I definitely advise y'all not to get this colorway or the Jordan 36 colorway um, for sure. But yeah, for the traction, indoor, outdoor, I'd, I'd give this out at least an 8 out of 10. I had no issues with the traction whatsoever. I mean, if you're going to ball outside every single day and you're getting it for your kid, he's going to chew through it. And I mean, you're going to chew through any shoe, but this actually, it actually surprised me. So that's the KD14 under the Jordan 36 traction. I mean, we pay $185 for these shoes. I would not recommend you wearing these shoes outside ever. Um, I just wouldn't. Especially with this colorway, look at the colorway. White bottoms and all the shoes to come from that line right now, as of now, I think besides, I think it was like that that purple, orange, black color that, that was coming out here. I think it was on September 2nd. I just would not run any of these shoes outdoors. They all got translucent outsoles. I think them even have like an orangish infrared outsole. I just wouldn't run none of them outdoors. You pay $185 for these. 
you better rock them aesthetically or you better just get in the gym. And I, I wouldn't wear them anywhere else. Uh, but the traction was great. Like I said, the only issue I had with this, this thing would squeak like crazy. This thing really didn't squeak at all. Like I had to, I had to grind and, and smash my foot to the floor to even get like a low pitch squeak. So, but it didn't bother me. On this one, I would give this traction a nine out of 10. Uh, it was good traction. Just the good old tried and true herringbone. Now KD's is a little more unique. You know, he's got, this is just a crazy pattern, but it works. That's, that's how it goes a lot. Now, as far as aesthetics, I just would never buy this shoe for me to rock aesthetically. We'll just, I stated that in the first video. It's just not my kind of sneaker. It just, it's kind of, kind of looks big and bulky, even though it's really not. Actually, I'll weigh both these sneakers right now. Let's kind of see what we got on the. This is 13.7. This sneaker was 12.9 on this scale. So. A little difference, but you can, it just feels heavy in hand. This right here feel, feels minimal. Like, this don't even feel like a sneaker, like a basketball sneaker at all. I just, I don't know. But aesthetic-wise, I'm, I'm rocking with the Jordan 36 all day. Uh, it's, that's just what it is. Price point, the, if we're ranking aesthetics, it's hard. Everybody's going to have their own opinion, but I'm going to give this... I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10, and I'm going to give this like a 6 out of 10. I just don't like the style. I don't like straps. It's a great ball shoe. If you're getting it for balling, you're set. You don't have no issues, especially if you're just getting it for high school, junior high, you're going to be balling in that, even at in men's league, something like that. Now for the Jordan 36, um, it was just dope. Everything about it. Um, I know they said this was a ribbon stabilizer bar. I could probably peel it off. I don't think it stabilizes anything, but I just thought it was dope. The couple nods to the 6s. That's a nod to the six too, right there. The tongue, it's got 36 portholes in it. The back tab kind of, they kind of made it more aerodynamic. It's like the difference between a, a, the old Camaro and a new Camaro, you know, they kind of made it more sleek. And that's what they did with this heel tab compared to the 36s. Now for price point, these are 150, these are 185. If I had a recommendation to make, I would recommend you get the Jordan 36. And, that, and that's just because it's, the comfort, the material, the breathability, like if you hoop a lot, especially if you're in high school, I mean college, whatever you're doing, if you hoop a lot, bro, you, a sweaty foot sucks. This isn't like the LeBron 17, nowhere near the LeBron 17, but this sneaker is not going to run as cool as this sneaker. This sneaker is probably going to be any sneaker that's on the market right now. Might be a few that, that could take it, but I just don't see it happening. So when it comes down to it, that's what I'm going to go with. Um... But like I said, the price point, 150, 185. If I can spend the 35 extra bucks, I'm gonna go with the Jordan. If not, there's no problem getting the KD. The KD is a beast of a shoe. They're both beasts of the shoe. So for the, the final rundown, guys, I'd, I'd recommend either of these shoes to anybody. Uh, I recommend you try them on in store if you got if you got that option. A lot of people won't with the COVID, shit's all crazy now. But if you got the option to try them on in store, I would go ahead and do that. If not, if you don't like them, Throw them on, send them back to Nike. Or if you got, you get them from East Bay, wherever you order your shoes from, put the shoes on. If you do not like them, go ahead and send them back. Get your money and go get the other sneaker. But with that being said, guys, I, I really appreciated all the love. I'm getting a lot more uh, interaction with the people coming to the channel. We're getting a lot more views. So, I mean, I highly appreciate all that love. Uh, really, really appreciate it. If you guys like the Versus videos, uh, I might start putting them out a little bit more. Uh, I was thinking about doing like the PG versus the uh, the Freak 3 because they were kind of same same range. Similar to these guys. I mean, there's a 30 buck difference, but uh, it's just kind of what's really popping right now. The KD14, the Jordan 36. So guys, if you like the versus videos, let me know down below in the comments. Maybe I can start popping out some more. Um, there's a few new shoes coming out soon. I got the Curry's on the way. I think uh, Trey Young's come out soon too. So uh, the ice trays. So I might have to grab those. The Trey Young ones. We'll grab those. Get some videos in. But the next video, I got I got some PG fives. I got some Giannis shoes. I got a bunch of shoes still to come. So with that being said, guys, I appreciate all the love, and we'll catch you on the next episode of Sold Out. Peace.